Intermediate Accounting 33, Factoring Receivables. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, our email, and our website. And the book, Cost Accounting for Dummies, that will be out in March of 2013, and we have a free online course that's ongoing that covers the whole book that you can email about if you like. So this has to do, this topic has to do with factoring. And first of all, we have to talk about why do we need to factor in the first place. And the hope is that you factor because you improve your cash flow. Specifically, you accept less total cash in exchange for getting cash payments faster because maybe you have a cash flow issue in your business. And how do you do it? A bank or a finance company agrees to pay you in advance and subtract a fee for giving you, giving you payment in advance. And then the bank the finance company will collect the receivables. That should say or instead of of. So it's the bank or the finance company that is collecting the receivable. So here's an example. Your company decides to factor. Your average monthly receivables are $100,000. Your average collection period, the average time it takes to get paid, is 30 days. You think that through factory you can save $18,000 and the reason you save money is the finance company that's factoring with you will handle the collection of the receivables once you do the factoring. And we assume that there's 360 days in a year which is common for corporations. In fact, uh, when you do calculations for bonds, many times uh, for corporate bonds we assume there are 360 days in a year. So it's similar to that rule that has to do with corporate bonds. So you go to the finance company and they give you these terms. The dollar amount advanced to the company will be 80% or 80% of that $100,000 each month. The annual interest on the receivable for as long as they're outstanding is 10%. And here's the big factor, the monthly, that's every month, factor fee charge is 2%. So the question, typically in a test question that you will see is, what is the annual cost of financing? Another way of saying it, what is the effective interest rate? Which, is, which means, what is the interest rate that you're really paying to do this factoring? There are f several steps to get this accomplished. The first step is you calculate the amount received from factoring for that month. So we take the average account receivable that we were given, the 80% that they're going to advance to us, and if I multiply those two together, A times B, the amount I receive for my $100,000 in receivables is $80,000 in cash. The next thing we do is calculate the interest expense on that amount that we were advanced. So we take the $80,000, we multiply it by the 10% the annual interest rate, and we see that the annual expense on that $80,000 is $8,000. <clears> the third step is we calculate something called the net outlay, which is another way of saying what's the payment to the finance company I'm really making for factoring? What's it really costing me in so many words? So my average account receivable for the month is $100,000. Now we bring in this new term, the factoring fee, which is going to be 2% every month, not just annually. So if I multiply average monthly receivable times the fee, I get a $2,000 fee. And if I multiply that by 12 months in a year, $24,000 a year is the annual fee that I've got to pay for that account receivable. But and I'm, we're again, we're taking accounts receivable for the whole year times 12 is going to be 12 months worth of fees. So this is annual factoring fee for 12 months at $100,000 or $1.2 million for the year. I'm going to save, though, those collection expenses that I mentioned at the top of the page up here. I'm going to save $18,000 because I'm not on the phone or sending letters or hiring lawyers to collect money. So if I take annual factoring fee less the $18,000, the net outlay is $6,000. Well, that's the 
outlay in dollars that it costs me to do the financing. But let's look at the total cost because in addition to the net outlay, which is 6000 I have an annual interest expense of 8000 now, my net cost in dollars is 14000 Now, let me point out something on the annual net interest, on the annual interest expense, excuse me. It's assumed, if you go back up to the top of the question, that the receivables are going to collect, be collected in 30 days. So, in any given month, I'm going to have, throughout the year, about $100,000 in receivables outstanding. And if in any given month, I have $100,000 in receivables outstanding, I'm going to have an interest on that money of $8,000. So that's where we get the $8,000. Since on average we have $100,000 in receivables at any of the 12 months of the year, we're going to have an $8,000 expense on average. So if I add that interest expense, $8,000, to the net outlay of $6,000, that's my true cost in dollars, 14000 And finally, to calculate my effective interest cost, what is it really costing me in terms of a rate for that financing? I take that total net cost in dollars, 14000 and I divide it by the usable funds, that is the $80,000 that I got early. And if I take J divided by K, I get an annual interest expense of 17.5%. Now what does that mean? What that really means is my true cost of financing. Because what's happening every month is I'm collecting $100,000 a month and what I'm doing is, is getting 80000 early and I'm not waiting on my 100000 I'm getting $80,000 on day one instead of waiting for $100,000 on day 30, and I'm ignoring any bad debt at this point, any unpaid bills. So really what the question says is, it will cost you 17.5% to collect your receivables now versus waiting 30 days. And so what we just did was, we defined the effective interest rate for factoring, and you can see that it took about five steps as you work down the problem. That's the end of Intermediate Accounting 33. We have video textbooks, extra videos and spreadsheets, some on YouTube, some are not. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL. You can email me for a complete list of our videos. For live tutoring and chat, chat sessions, excuse me, there's my website. And again, the book Cost Accounting for Dummies is available March of 2013. And we have an ongoing course that's free if you'd like to know about it. Um, we teach the course an hour at a time in a live, live chat that's free. Thanks so much, and we will see you next time.